Hey guys, what's going on? Killer here. I just wanted to show you a post commentary of one of my games I had in my KV2 where I managed to get eight kills, a Radley Walters, a Colobanos medal, and a Reaper medal all in one match. And of course, uh, mast mastery on my tank. And I didn't get another mark of excellence, but I was close. I was close. I think I was at 84% or something. But anyway. Let me go ahead and get this started. Yeah, speed this timer up, which we don't need. So, as many people are aware, the KV2 is not a very accurate tank. I could aim at this house right now, shoot at it, and I probably would miss. But the Lord Almighty RN Jesus was with me to this, to this game. Of course, looking at my team, you know, XVM, for you that use people who use XVM know what the colors mean. People who don't, well, I mean, it's really hard to explain, but XVM usually doesn't mean much anymore. So, by looking at XVM, our players, the players on our team are s decent compared to their players. The biggest threat on their team is that KV2. So, my main priority is to get him when I can. Anyway, the game just progressing right now. We've already we've lost one tank to their two, so but ours was a scout, so it's not a very good thing. So I managed to trudge my way over here to this hill, and I see their M6, and I think to myself, well, I c I can put a real hurt on this M6. I just need this our M6 to lure him out. So. In the meantime, I'm waiting. I'm trying to get the M6 to lure him, but it ain't happening. And of course, the other M6, I think, sees me right here and then decides, no, nah, it's not worth it. Meanwhile, our team's dying on the hill. So after a while, I was sitting here. Let me speed this up for a second. After, after a while of waiting, I decided to go and deal with this myself. I roll up the M6 and, then, uh, and I see a Churchill. Hit the Churchill, light him on fire. No extinguisher, dead. First kill of the game. And now my next thrust is M6. So I got an 8 second reload. Our M6 died and then I just looked at our... About this moment is when I looked over and I seen that all our team had pretty much just died in that last like 3 seconds. So, my main goal was to kill the M6 and then go back to base. One shot, one kill. So, so instead of pushing towards their base, I decided, well, it's time to go back to our base to defend. So, I slowly turned myself around. About the same time, I see these two tanks here. And I, I was really hoping they'd come back with me. But... I think the other one I did was uh, the Easy 8. The M4 went out to, I guess, go go get himself some kills. Our ELC valiantly defending the west side by himself. Oh, it wasn't an ELC. That was a SC100. So now we're down to three. And now we're down to two. So our chances of winning this game are slowly dwindling away. But, and I know that uh, at least I thought I wouldn't be able to carry this game this hard but I just I guess this RN Jesus oh my lord almighty so the easy aids back up on up here with, with me to the hill so I know there's a tank over there I know there's tanks on that hill so I'm trying to hide myself from them and I figure there's going to be one skirting the edge over here so I just make my way up here and start just get ready to fire at anything that appears just cautiously moving and then I notice notice that a tank popped up the Lux so I, I figure that Easy 8 can take him on and he does so about this time 
I was like, well, let me uh, see what I can see. And I see my arch nemesis, KV2. We could easily kill each other, but I get him first. One shot, one kill. Back away, reload. So the KV2 has an extremely long reload. And it just, the moment you click, you're you're at the mercy of the enemy, whether or not they push on you or not. So me and the KV2 are having a little banter. I see a firefly coming up. There's an M4 in the little village. Easy 8 bounced a few shots, take hits, and then Easy 8 decides to go out and dies instantly. He gets hit by two of them, the Dicker Max and the M4 at the same time. So now that leaves me and five other tanks. So, our Lord Almighty, RN Jesus, allows me to, to decap that little firefly. And I just, I'm surprised as hell that I even hit that when I could just shoot at the tank on the side and do nothing to it. So I'm reloaded, I got th about three seconds left. Now I'm loaded. Now I'm just waiting to see who pops up. The M4 is closer so I figured he's gonna make a bum rush at me. And then a Hellcat comes out of nowhere. So I start turning and if the Hellcat would have stopped, but he didn't. And then and then I was just shocked to look as soon as I pulled the trigger I looked over and I saw the M4 and I just fired too it was M4's mistake that he didn't come at me so I have six seconds I'm just coping to God that he doesn't hit me hard I reloaded snapshot and I know in the next update they're gonna re they're gonna reduce the the amount of percentage on the hit ratios so snapshots like that will probably never happen to me again so right now I have a six kills top gun and I start to get a little cocky I type in the chat you know who's next twitchy enemy responds to me quite intelligently <laughs> don't get cocky I see the Dicker Max. Now this is where it gets interesting. The Dicker Max can mess me up, and he has some pretty good armor on the front if I don't aim right. So I managed to hit him. He hits me, but I let him on fire. No extinguisher, he's dead. So now that I'm at seven kills, and I have no idea where the other tank is. So I'm just reloading and creeping. And it just so happens I just reloaded and the archer comes right over the hill. And gone. Eight kills. That was just an amazing game.